false prophets. For many years, Christianity has been under constant, bitter and treacherous attack, until the major churches are now in disorganized retreat. The attack by those who are openly atheists or communists has done little damage, as it could not appeal to anyone but our enemies in any event. The most vicious attack, and the most successful, has come from men who have gained high positions of power in church hierarchies and have used this power to destroy everything the Christian churches have stood for over the centuries, everything that brought Christianity greatness and kept it great. It is the old Marxist strategy of boring from within. The first step in this plot was to keep the church congregations ignorant of the real biblical basis for Christian doctrine. The average man has no training in analysis of the Bible, and if he wished to, he could not spare the great amount of time necessary for the years of studies which are required, and, let's face it, the average man doesn't have the capacity to undertake such a study independently, he must trust his minister to give him the results in pre-digested form. But his trust is far too often betrayed. How much of what is actually in the Bible were you ever taught in your church? Think back over your own church-going experience, on how many Sundays did your minister ever tell you what was in more than just one verse of the Bible? Remember, he took just one verse as his text that is, the point of departure at which he left the Bible, never to return to it, and the rest of the sermon may have caused you to admire the cleverness of the man, but when did he give you, word for word, what the Bible itself says?